it's me though. And I saw one this morning as I came in and it was, it was a Range Rover. And I thought, oh, that's not good. The, the front skirt, bumper skirt, whatever you call that, I have no idea what it's called, but the front bumper and then it has that scoop underneath. Yeah. Obviously you got a person drove a little bit too far on a curb, a parking curb probably. Good effort. Pulled it right off. <laughs> Just went, I just went, yeah, that, that's it. That's a few thousand dirhams right off, there. Off. Well, yeah, definitely. Because it's all one piece too. So yeah, you're done. I mean, it's those those concrete blocks that you have in the parking spaces do more damage for for cars than than anything else. I don't even know what they would do. Most of them aren't as wide as the wheel track anyway, <laughs> so they're not stopping a car. Yeah. So I, they do a lot of a lot of our issues with cars. My S6 that we're rebuilding at the minute, that's front bumper has been. Previous owner, I've refitted that maybe four times. Jeez. So ripping them off on yeah, those yeah. things. Yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> fool me once, shame <laughs> on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I yeah. mean, I don't know. You managed to do it four times. <laughs> to learn the lesson or don't. <laughs> but still, I can't. I can't say that I see any benefit to them. Like, is it for when you fall asleep driving your car in a car park to stop? I, what is it supposed to do? They're not, it's, it's, most it's, cars here drive over that without even trying. Yeah. No, it's it's just looks. It's purely aesthetic. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and, and it's keeping the auto body guys well. It is, you know, yeah. You know, and, and it's, it it's, is. The fact that it's unibody things, they're all uni pieces. They all clip on and clip off. Another rant about chrome. Oh, okay. Talking about bodywork. So we got a Toyota Fortuna. I don't mind the Fortuna. I'm not a Toyota guy, but the Fortuna is not bad, you know. I don't mind them. They're kind of different. I got a couple which buddies. I, like. I got a couple buddies who buddies who drive those. Yeah. And, and actually, yesterday we're going to come back to the Fortuna, yeah. don't we? The Xterra, the new Xterra. I was no, I was behind one. I went. It looks a lot like a Fortuna. I mean, yeah, they clearly, do actually. Yeah, same everything. Yeah, the, yeah. You know, a little bit more. A little bit more sci-fi on the back end because I was like, no, the back end looks a little bit narrow actually because we've yeah. done the lights, but it's cool. And then the wheel wells, the back wheel wells, have got a little bit of of you know they pressed out the the panels a little bit, so it's still. And I was because I was beside one for quite a while, and I was looking at it going, you know, I don't know if I like this thing. And then I was going, actually. I could see the old Xterra because I really liked the shape of the old yeah, Xterra. Yeah, really cool square ones. Isn't it? And it had you know the, the bump step are up yeah. kind of thing, a little bit you know boring, boring a little bit from Range Rover there and Land Rover Discovery and yeah. that kind of stuff. But the new ones have the images built into it, so the, the, they pushed out a little bit on the, 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 the back panels so that it looks a little bit like an Xterra used to. But I, I looked at it, I said, this is. <laughs> this is this is a Toyota. It looks like the Toyota, and but I don't know. I haven't been in one, so I'd I'd love to go and give one a, a spin. But I don't know. I mean, I mean, I don't I don't for any second believe that it will drive any better than the other one did. It'll be boring, <laughs> and tinny, and unfinished. But it'll be but ridiculous rely in terms of reliability. Well, so. they, the the old Xterra. What I mean, it was. If you wanted something, it, it built on a truck chassis. Clearly, they hadn't changed the thing from the time you know two thousand. It came out just so, just before two thousand. Those things came out. I don't think they changed anything till they stopped making them. No, that's right. Yeah, and that's why it was reliable. It just worked. It was it a great ride? No, but I mean, I drive a Wrangler, so was it any better than a Wrang worse than a Wrangler? Any better than a no? It probably about drove the same as a Wrangler. I would suspect. Uh, I don't know about that. There's something about a Wrangler. <laughs> <laughs> there is some, uh, Wrangler's got something about it. I mean, it, it didn't have a wishbone suspension, so I figure you're going to be getting the same drive. Yeah, I mean, look, it's, let's say, agricultural. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah I, 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 no, I but, don't mind them. They're, they're used for police. I think the Xterra, the old ones, were used for Yeah, the police, police use them. Police use them here, and I've seen them in Ireland. Oh, really? Yeah. No, so, I haven't been there and seen the police there. It must have been on TV. I've seen it. Okay. But yeah, so nice. So you were talking Fortuner though, and Chrome. Yeah, it's Chrome. So so, so what, what, Fortuners don't tend to break down. So what's it doing inside? No, so it's body repair. Somebody okay. got hit in the back uh -huh. by an uninsured driver. The police nice. came and said, "Look, you." The police then enforce, which is so much better than it is in the UK here. So uninsured so driver, please come. Yeah, they obviously can't make a police report in the traditional way because there's no insurance details yeah, yeah. to change. So the police just 
grab hold of the person who's done it and say, right, you're going to pay for this now. And they tell the owner of the vehicle that's been affected, go and get three quotations, bring them back, and the cheapest one will enforce them, will then force them to pay. If they don't do it... So you, you get the three things, you take it back to the police department? The police will then get the guy oh, or okay. whoever it was responsible and say, that's the lowest one. You need to give the cash to the person in front yeah. of me right now. Wow. Great. <laughs> I love that. No method. problem. Right. And if they don't, well, right, then... You're going to come and sit in the cell for a while. Sit down there, chill out. We'll find a court date in six months and enjoy the <laughs> porridge. You know, that's how it is. So fantastic way of doing things. So I get a message quite late last night from a lady. She sends me a picture of the back corner of the bumper on the Fortuna. And the reflector's broken, the bumper's popped out, but it looks salvageable. Yeah. And even there's a little hole in the bumper, which if we don't want to fiberglass that, we can just replace the bumper. And the bumper costs like 600 dirhams, okay. brand new. Okay. That's a affordable piece. Yeah, it's not a Toyota one, but it's mm. fine, part and part. Okay. So looking at it, it's about 1,500 dirhams all in, parts, labor, paint. She brought the car into me today and said, oh, I want to bring you the car because I think you need to see it because I've had a quote from Toyota. I mean, we knew Toyota were going to be quoting yeah, yeah, yeah. silly money. They, they've got to use <laughs> Toyota parts and then they've got the ridiculous size workshops to keep lights yeah. on in. So, yeah. obviously. But another guy that she'd also used in the past and given a quote, which was double what I'd quoted. So, she said, I just want to make sure you see it. So then she That's kind of nice, actually. I mean, saying, hey, yeah, yours is a lot cheaper, but maybe you need to see exactly, it because yeah. possibly you've gotten it wrong. Totally. I know, like that. Reasonable. Yeah. For, you know, for, for, for her to see that. And so she brought the car in. Lo and behold, the chrome strip on the back bumper, which is ridiculous anyway, because not only does the sun hit it and then reflect Toyota oh, yeah. upside down and back to front on the tailgate, <laughs> which is a, I don't know who designed that. Uh, isn't that the craziest thing? So annoying. I don't understand either. Do it the wrong way around on the tailgate so yeah. it reflects the right way on the, yeah. anyway, yeah. whatever. You need to say Toyota when you're looking down. When just you to remind bags you. out the back just of the to car. remind you oh yeah I'm driving a Toyota whatever <laughs> yeah. you know it's a Toyota when the door shuts and it just rattles so you get you get this you're, chrome you're trip. winning us no love from no, Toyota no, no, it's fine there's nothing I mean the, the new Land Cruiser by the way looks quite cool for a Land Cruiser it's nice to see a change on the Land Cruiser actually it does I'm, look quite good I'm, I'm no fan of the LED lighting that now has taken oh, over Christmas trees I, I don't get it Audi did it for about three years and it made me feel sick after about three months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're shocking. It's like, come on, stop it. Stop. You know, it, 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 when LEDs first came out, it got crazy. And then it, it calmed down a little bit and it was just like, okay, we've got LED lighting and we, what's more efficient. Now they, they're, everyone's playing with the lighting game again. And it's just like, come on. Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't appreciate an LED light at all. Yeah. So the Fortuner came in, back yeah, so bumper. Yeah, this piece of chrome. It's <laughs> like over a thousand dirhams. <laughs> Does she want the chrome? Well, I can't paint it. Well, I wish I could. Okay. If I did, I'd just black it happily for her. And we, then we could straighten it out and it'd be fine. We wouldn't see our tooling on there, our yeah. tooling marks. But she it's not even real chrome anyway. It's, a... it's, it's plasticky. And... Yeah, you can't, you can't find a little piece of that. But... No. Well, the option is at this point, I think, we find a complete bumper secondhand. Benefits there are the fact that we're recycling, which is great. Right. And also, it's an original Toyota part. Mm -hmm. And it'll have the chrome piece on the back, and we'll still have to paint it anyway, which we'd have to paint a new bumper, and we don't have to buy a new bumper, we don't have to buy. So I've got my guys out now in Sharjah at the minute trying to find me one. Yeah. Ideally, find me a black one, and then we don't even have to paint it and save the customer some money. Yeah. So that'd be great. But she, she wants the chrome, though. Yeah, you can't get away with it. Mm -hmm. you, you couldn't. The, the picture that I got was, I think, the glaring issue for her was that the reflector was broken and yeah. obviously there was a, a, a certain angle which is the picture she sent me there's a hole right through the bumper uh, so she wanted me to see that and, yeah. and it didn't actually show that the trim was creased okay chrome yeah <laughs> you know joey Wu who's listening right now going i love chrome i love that chrome well look <laughs> i just hope he never has to replace any how do you a thousand dirt how do you justify that no i mean and, that's a lot of money. Like, that's really, really a lot of money and, for a piece of plastic. And the cheek of it is, you know what? Even if I buy that, we sort of start talking about this a lot of times, but the cheek of it is, if I buy that from Toyota, I've got no choice but to buy it from Toyota at the moment. I haven't found anyone that does a pattern one. I'm assuming it's because it says Toyota on it. Yeah. 
if I buy that from Toyota, they don't take the old one back to recycle it for me. Yeah. I've got to then put that in a bin and pay for that. It's plastic, it's hazardous, I've got to get rid of it. So it's ridiculous. I Honestly, the most pointless piece of chrome trim I've ever seen. I get the chrome bumpers bit, I get it. My granddad used to ride on the Goldwing bikes and he had a couple of big bikes. Yeah. He, had a, he had an old Pontiac Silver Street car which had huge chrome running boards on and a, a Norton Dominator motorbike that was all chromed and everything. And, and he, He'd ride it all weekend and then my grandma would spend all Sunday afternoon after she'd cut the Sunday dinner yeah. cleaning it and brasso polishing all the chrome for him. And I get it because I was around it. Chrome strip that's not really <laughs> chrome that doesn't do anything that you can't actually see unless you're in the back of the car and it's your car anyway. Yeah. Anyway, ran over. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's full moon, you know. I'm wondering. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> affected me as well <laughs> i've told the story a million times i'm gonna i'm gonna give the pricey version again when i was doing my masters at concordia university in montreal not the concordia that that exists in the united states which is not necessarily a, a good university the concordia <laughs> so you have to say that every time <laughs> well I, I actually never realized it until i was talking with a colleague who had some had some children who were thinking about going to montreal to go to school i said you know it's university of montreal an option they're thinking mcgill i went to university of montreal on the other side of the mountain arguably the better university oh, but it's go. a french university you know and so that might be a deterrent for some but i i truly think it is the better university Plus, I went there, and I said to them, I said, why don't you go to Concordia? And they go, oh, Concordia's not such a good university. I'm going, really? I did a master's there. It's got a, an amazing fine arts program. The MBA program is spectacular. What don't you like? Well, well you know, in, in the States, Concordia is not, in, and I said, it's not related to the Concordia yeah. in the States. It's not the same university. <laughs> it's probably on the, on the school prospectus as well, isn't it? Yeah. Not, not affiliated with the not Concordia. Yeah. It's a big asterisk next to the Concordia. Yeah. So I worked at the switchboard, and this is back in the day when actually someone answered the phone. So oh, it's like, you know, Concordia University, switchboard. <laughs> and then I then on my Centrix switchboard system would, you know, dial people through to places. And I had a book and I would find the, you know, the numbers or we had a computer too. So. But yeah, actually, and, and if they didn't get to someone, they came back to me. Came back to the answer, yeah. Full moon. Oh, man. <laughs> and you'd, be, you'd come into work and I remember sitting there and, you know, there was two of us and the calls would bounce between us. And after about five minutes, you'd go to, you'd look around and say, is that a full moon or something? Because I'm getting the craziest callers who are, who are just, you know, tearing me a new one for no reason, for nothing I've done before we've even managed to get them transferred. And so it was, uh, it was, it was really interesting to see the effect of the full moon on people on the phone. You'd see it on the roads. And it, it's not just the day of the full moon, it's the lead up, two days up, two days after. So you're looking at five days of mayhem and it, it, it affects people. <laughs> uh, I'd like to know how, but it, it, I, I agree because it does affect um, Amy and we've, we used to have the situation with... That's not going to get you in trouble if she no, doesn't. No, no, okay, no. Okay. I'm already in trouble. I woke up this morning, so I'm in trouble. <laughs> the full moon and, and um, the children going to sleep at night. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I like to believe in rational thought and think it's probably down to the fact that it's so bright and keeps them a little bit awake, but no. maybe it's to do with chakras and crystals and chi yeah. and all that. Sleep with a tinfoil cap on, that's yeah. what I'm suggesting to anyone. Well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> a bit rustly though, it probably wake you up every time you move, time a bit of a rest.